The investigation to the death of Tess Ritchie has now taken a new turn. I'm Natish Bassano coming to you from Church and Wellesley. I'm actually standing in the alley where her body was found. This is the growing memorial behind me. We now learn today that Toronto Police will be investigating how they dealt with the case in the first place. At our professional standards unit is looking at the initial stages of the investigation. We have some concerns. This comes after Ritchie's death was initially deemed to be a misadventure. Police first ruled out foul play, but then an autopsy later confirmed that she died from compression to the neck. Homicide is now taking over the case. The 22-year-old went missing on November 25th and was then found outside this abandoned building at Church and Dundonald Streets at around 3 p.m. last Wednesday. The owner of this store next door says it wasn't the police who found her, but instead her mother, who flew in from North Bay to help with the search. Week two women outside were screaming that there's a body uh, in the alleyway. One of them was the mother and her friend. Um, one of the ladies outside called the police. They came in and um, checked what was going on, and that was it. It's horrific. And when we report these things, we need to be taken seriously. Nikki Ward is the director of the Church Wellesley Neighborhood Association. She says the association is looking into creating a safe walk program and a neighborhood watch. She also wants to see more lights in the area and more police presence, among other things. This is about the police services doing their job and communicating internally. The last several bodies that have been found have been found by community members. All of the major leads have come from the community. All of the pressure to act has come from the community. Uh, the police need to uh, shape up in this one. For their part, Toronto Police have created a task force this past summer to address the growing number of missing persons cases in the area. Toronto Police say having a task force doesn't mean people will stop disappearing or getting killed. Their job is to see if the cases are connected. As for this case, police say Richie was with an unknown man before she went missing. He is described as white, between 5'7 to 6 feet tall, with a slim build and light-colored short hair. Now a memorial for Tess Ritchie is growing by the hour. People laying flowers and paying their respects to police say they're still looking for a suspect. They're canvassing the area and they are looking at surveillance footage from nearby businesses. On Church and Wellesley, I'm Natish Pasono, City News.